Yes, I hear you, and I've been hearing you for the last 15 minutes. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to... Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with... I've got a few other guys to meet this week, and then... I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? okay. Just, can you hold on for a second? Okay, but Thank I don't you. Have a long no, time. just be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, <laughs> a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then I, I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot. So why don't you tell me why you should even be on my radar? I just won a national championship. And that's not the last trophy I plan to have on my mantle. You pick me, you better clear your shelf for some hardware. Hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call back but yes, I'll have to call you back. Hey, I love you. I love you too, Dad. Bye. Are you for real? You know, you and I have a mutual friend, Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis. What do you think he would have to say about your ability to uh, lead a locker room? Look, I respect Coach Ford, but at the end of the day, the players are the ones that have to go on the field and execute. You don't have the confidence of the team. The game plan doesn't matter. Jack had some concerns about your leadership. And now so do I. Well, I really hope you can show us something today. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you can settle up the, uh... Hand over your phone. I want to check your internet history. You want me to give you my phone? Is... That just like normal procedure? You bet it is. You just give anyone your phone? If someone asks for your playbook, would you give them that too? No? What? What? You have something to hide? Look, son. This interview is about transparency. I think I'm being quite transparent. Not transparent enough. You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Bus in Alaska. I go front of the bus. Not middle. Nope. Have you looked at the engine before you even got into the bus? Uh, Did you check the tire pressure? I hired a professional mechanic to inspect every part of the bus as he is more qualified than me. And I am aware of my strengths and weaknesses. Are you being cute with me, son? No. You're not. Now give me a serious answer. Would you be in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus, or the passenger side of the bus? I already answered the front of the bus. Why? Because if I can see where we're going, I can make sure we're okay. Is that the wrong answer? Funny how many eyes are on us right now, huh? Breaking us down, picking us apart. Every mistake amplified. But we got it though, right? At least I know I do. Hey, um, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm looking for your agent. Yes. I don't have an agent. Didn't have an agent. Less more. Congratulations. For what? For getting an agent. Me. Boom. I don't think... Have I met you before? You're about to know me. Quarterbacks, group four. Looks like you're up to throw, kid. Go get him. Or should I say, go get him, client? New York fans were very vocal about you this week on social media. How would you feel about playing for the job? Gi 
Well, they're right. This is a team that needs a leader. And they know I could be the guy for them. Very true. What do you feel is your biggest strength as an NFL quarterback? Well, I've worked with the legendary Jack Ford, so reading a defense is in my DNA. What do you say to the critics that think you aren't ready to play in the NFL? Well, they're right. I have a lot of work to do. I'm focused on getting better every day. I just, let's say this all doesn't work out for you. What's your plan B? No plan B for me. It's mm. a great answer. It's very yeah. smart. Thank you. <sighs> Bavarian chocolate cake. Nice twist. That's my client. Uh, let it, um, let, let it go to voicemail. Build some anticipation. But, but if you answer it, you'll show that the teams can count on you. So, uh... So? Uh, answer it, answer it, answer it! Hello? Sorry, sir, we regret to... Yeah. What? What? What was... You're, uh... You're not getting an invite to the draft. Which is a good thing. I mean, just ask Brady, right? Hey, how's this? I know a tailor, and he can make it feel like you're there. Uh, uh. What's your vibe? I don't really have a vibe. She got like a suit? Suit? Huh, man? You like a man in a nice suit? Him? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Stamp of approval. First class stamp of approval for somebody who's not getting invited to the draft. I don't even have a suit. He since 2010 have made the most Pro Bowl noise with picks like this. Daniel, just a quick thought before we send things to the stage over there. Some interesting quarterbacks, Ryan Finley, Jared Stidham, Clayton Thorson from Northwestern. I'm anxious to see where they go today. Those are the quarterbacks that are at the top of your draft. And as you can see, most of any school on day number three, and that is a draft nugget. We're just dropping draft nuggets. He throws the best ball of anybody in Couldn't have done better at the combine. You know, I didn't ask you to be my agent. Well, maybe I shouldn't have been. I had people lining up wanting me to represent them. No, you didn't, actually. I don't even know if you're accredited, man. Put, put it on speaker. Hello? Hey, this is Jay Gruden, head coach of the Washington Redskins. We've had our eye on you for a while, and we're making you the newest member of the team. Be ready to compete. We will be! Who is that? Uh, no one. Don't, don't worry about it. Thank you so much, sir. I'll be there. I'll be ready to go. Thank you. Oh, yes! <sighs> Let's get some grilled cheese. That you? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I wasn't gonna say anything because I'm a professional. But for what it's worth, I think you are the guy that's gonna turn things around here for our quarterback situation. You know, I played a little juco ball myself. That's cool, man. That's cool. Had the coach in here last week, and I was not impressed at all. I do a little JV coaching in my spare time, so I have a really good feel about the game. Mm. Should have told him one of my plays. He could have used it this someday. Mm. You know, I actually haven't even met him yet. It's Coach Gruden, Chucky's brother. Man, last year the division was ours until our quarterback got hurt. Figures. That's why I can't blame them for drafting two quarterbacks this year. Remember when they did that with Cousins and RG3? Ah, good times. Anyway, we need a quarterback who's gonna come in and destroy the Cowboys. <sighs> Hope I'm right, I think it's you. I really think it's you. You tell the coaches that, that I think it's you. Thanks, uh, I'll pass it along. I'm not really sure how much they'll listen to me though, I'm just a rookie. Had Chris Pratt in here last week. Good looking guy. But I think if he fights a Raptor, the Raptor's gonna win, that's just me. 
That's just me. I don't care how many names he calls me. In fact, I, I actually did some, I do some archaeology on the side. And I found a T-Rex bone in Missouri once. I think it was a T-Rex bone. I was like, look at, whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, actually, I think you just dropped me off right up here, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Just right up front, thank you. This is the start of something beautiful, kid. And in this city, if you need anything, if you need alpacas, if you need emus, any type of livestock, home loan, or warranty, you call me. You're the guy. If you... Think we'll call.